We're meeting extraordinary souls who refuse to give up. Brad Cohen has had to fight all his life just to feel normal. And the odds were really stacked against him. Take a look. I started to first feel different when I was in fourth grade. I started making weird noises. Everyone was paying attention to me and they thought I was the funny guy. But Brad had no control over the strange sounds he was making and no idea what was happening to his body. I started having a lot of eye blinking, a lot of eye twitching. It was very difficult for my dad because he thought I was just being annoying. I remember being in the car. I would knock my knee against the side of the door. Deep down, it was really frustrating for me because I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. Brad's teachers punished him for acting out in class. I remember my fifth grade teacher having me stand up in front of the class and apologize to everyone for making the noises I was making. So I walked up to the front of the class and I said, I'm sorry for making all these noises. And then I went to sit down and she said, uh, 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 get back up there and tell them that it won't happen again. So I got back up there and I said, it won't happen again. And of course, when I sat down, I started making my noises. By age 12, Brad was diagnosed with a little known neurological disorder called Tourette syndrome. At the time, few understood the disorder, especially the kids at school. I had no friends. I remember I would eat all by myself. The mean kids would parade around me and mock the noises that I was doing. Brad found little sympathy outside of school. No matter where he went, he couldn't escape the torment. I remember being in the grocery store one day with my mom and my brother, and my noises were really vocal. This lady literally went up to my mom and asked her if her son was possessed by the devil. When you hear an adult say something like that, you only, you only think that it might be true. I wanted to be normal. I wanted to be like everyone else. Nobody really knew what I was feeling like. I was just that kid that was alone. Well, the kid that was alone had run out of hope until a really wise person, man, reached out with a brilliant idea. My principal came up to me and said, Brad, how would you like to educate all the students in our school about Tourette's? I thought about it for a second, and the only thing that went through my mind was, what would be the worst thing that would happen? I lose friends? I didn't have any friends. Brad courageously stood before the entire school and shared his personal struggle. He was stunned by the response. I sat down and then everybody started to clap. Everybody started to clap for me. It was really the first time in my life that I was positively reinforced for having Tourette's syndrome. And it was on that day that I realized the power of education. Brad knew he wanted to be a teacher. He graduated cum laude with a degree in education. But when Brad went looking for his first teaching job, no one would give him a chance. Administrators could not look past my Tourette syndrome. Brad went on 24 excruciating interviews. I remember there was one interview. I was so upset that I literally had to pull over on the side of the road because I was crying so hard. Then on his 25th interview, Brad finally met someone who believed in him. He was everything that we look for in a teacher. So I talked to my principal and he really wasn't, he was kind of reluctant. I really did not want to hire Brad because I felt like, could I convince the parents that this was the best person? But the assistant principal was convinced that Brad was the best person for the job. And I said, Jim, we can't just um, talk the talk. We need to walk the walk and show these parents well, and students that we can hire somebody with a disability. Well, well, Brad got that job. And listen to this. He won the state of Georgia's first year Teacher of the Year Award. Please welcome Tritt Elementary second grade teacher, Mr. Brad Cohen. Great to see you. After all those interviews, did you ever consider giving up? Never. Never. I knew that I needed to be a teacher. Yeah. I needed to be that teacher that I never had because I wanted to help out all those other kids 
out there that might be a little different. And so I knew that I needed to do it. So according to the, what we just saw, you were diagnosed with Tourette's at 12? At 12 years old. At 12 years old. So all those years, nobody knew what it was. They didn't know what it was. So I was making these noises, and they just didn't know. OK, and so you would spend your lunch periods with the school nurse? Yeah. You know, it was really difficult to be in the classroom and just eating lunch out there in the cafeteria. Nobody wanted to eat with me. And finally, one day, the nurse said, why don't you come eat with me? And she befriended me. Wow. Is it true that the teachers were more cruel to you than the students? Yeah, many times they were. When I think back on all my education experiences, in middle school, it was tough because they just didn't know. And oftentimes, if the teacher didn't know and I was getting in trouble from the teacher, then the students just followed behind. Wow. So why did you want to be a teacher then if, you were, if school was so difficult for you? I, I knew that I needed to be that teacher for all those kids out there that didn't have the support that I did. I just didn't want other kids to go through the same experiences that I did. Oftentimes, in school, we, know we want kids to, to have positive experiences and, and, and get stickers for doing good things and focus on their strengths. And I just got focused uh, things on me for my weaknesses. And I was always that kid in the corner. Wow. So do you explain to the kids? Absolutely. Uh -huh. On the first day of school, I talk to the kids about Tourette's syndrome. I tell them that their teacher's a little different. They're going to see me making noises and ticks that I can't control. And we have an open conversation about it. And I let them ask as many questions that they want. And so has it ever gotten out of control? No. Never? No. I just make lots of noises. And you know, kids make lots of noise in the classroom. And we're normal. OK, you're normal. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.